Have you ever heard of the term iDRAC or IPMI controller? Well, what this is, is it's a little computer that's built in on your server and it lets you remotely access it. Now you tell me, well, I could just use RDP to get to it. Well, yes, you could. But what happens if you're having an issue with the operating systems and you need to reboot the server or say somebody turns off the server or if you're, you had a power failure and the server didn't come back on, you need to turn it back on. That's where an IPMI controller can come in handy as well as doing other stuff in the BIOS. Additional logging is definitely an option with this. So point me over on my screen and I'll be happy to show you my IPMI controller here on my home lab. Oh, it's black burning tech, we're leveling up from networking paths to systems we trust let's break it down let's build it back together we're learning right on track so this is my ipmi controller it prompts you with a login it's just a web page you set up your your uh, ip address that you want to use so i'm going to go ahead and log in on mine and we'll go ahead and take a look okay so mine's loaded up and mine's a little bit older because it's one of the original ones and this is not the most updated version of this but typically when you go to get on an ipmi controller you can see what's on the screen right now and like for example here let me come over you can see that where i can see that the server's logged in and i can view it uh if i had flash for example i could manage it but this one it's not very good to do that especially with flash not being very accepted nowadays but if this was a more updated one it would use html5 ultimately it still has some power with it so like right now i can power it on i could shut off the computer i could reset it so if i need to like restart the server i could come in here and manually reset it maybe the operating system on there is so gummed up and there's no way to do anything i can come in here and do all sorts of things like that let me zoom in a little bit so we can come over here to see server health and it will give us a list of sensors and tell us what's going on on the server. So we can see, am I concerned about, is my lid open on the server? Is my What's my temperatures? Are my fans working? As you can see, there's quite a bit of sensors in here and it will definitely alert you if it has some issues with it. As you can see, there's other stuff we can come in here and do. We can do, check on our power consumption so I can see on how much this server has been pulling and what it's currently pulling, as well as event logs. If there was an issue, like if I shut it down improperly or something happened, I can come over here and look at it, even like BIOS generated events. So if there was an issue, we can fi figure it out. As far, as far as configurations, let me zoom in a little bit for you. So we can set up alerts. If we want this to email us, maybe we say, hey, if this event happens, I want it to send it to my ticketing system. Date and time, LDAP integration. So maybe I do have a LDAP server I want for my administrators to be able to log in, mouse mode. And, and like I said, there's quite a few other settings in here. I'm not gonna go over every single one of these. Fan mode is, what do I want the speed to be? Do I want it to be as quiet as possible or can I make some adjustments on there? SSL certifications, right now it is using just a self-signed cert, but I could put my cert on there so that way it would load appropriately without giving me any updates like that. SNMP, so I can do some SNMP settings on here. So that's simple network managing and then uh, remote sessions like what we were just talking about. So we could come over and go to remote control and actually control the system itself. As you can see, it's gonna throw an error for me. We could do that. Maintenance, maybe we wanna do a firmware update. We wanna reset the unit, maybe in a BIOS update. We can come here and do a BIOS update directly so that we don't have to go directly on site. Maybe this is at a client site and we don't wanna drive all the way there to do this. We can come here and do a BIOS update as well. So as you can see, there's quite a bit we can do in an IPMI controller. Like I said, this one's a little older, but if this had a little was newer, we could do a little bit more with it. I don't have one of those currently to show you, but this is what it allows you to do is to have direct access to the computer itself. So you can have a visual indication, whether it's powered on, all sorts of alerting. If it's having any physical issues, you'll be aware of it. As well as, like I said, the BIOS update is definitely a nice feature on this. This is gonna be a little bit shorter video. It's more just to introduce you to what an IPMI controller is. Like I said, this one's not anything spectacular, but it definitely comes in handy, especially if you're remote and you need to physically turn on the server or turn it off for whatever reason, and as well as getting alerts. Hopefully this information has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for watching.